hello and welcome back to my channel Sophia's Boutique. I am Sophia. Thank you for joining me. Um, I know I have not posted any videos for... I can't remember the last time but I've just been really busy. <sighs> Assignments, blah blah blah, yada yada yada. No one's really interested. <laughs> so yeah. Um, but anyway, I am back and I've got loads of videos that I've filmed so I just need to sit and edit them now. I'm at home um, for the next five days or no hang on for another three days or oh, I've been away so um, I've been to visit family so I had to come back. Um, when did I come back now? Sunday I came back I think. Sunday or Monday anyway one of the uh, all the days are just phew, at the minute so yeah I've come back had all my tests gonna post it off my day two today and yeah so in the next three days I will be out released into <laughs> humanity again so yeah I am videoing today because drum roll duh, 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 duh. I received my So Healy Jane box for June now I filmed my opening and discussing the May one filmed it all thought yeah I might edit it while I'm away but doing it on the iPad because I wasn't going to take my Mac with me and doing it on the iPad just wasn't and I thought I'm away I'm, I'm not going to be doing this so I've I've filmed that I might post it at some point but anyway yeah that's what I am videoing today and hopefully I'll edit this one and put it out because it'll be more relevant to people and then at some point I'll um I'll put the main one on as well if someone's interested so yeah I might look a little bit strange um because I am very 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 tanned very very sunburnt so if I'm looking all shades of everything then that's the reason why <laughs> I might look really tired as well so yeah I, I was just about to put some I put some foundation on and I was like oh none of these shades are matching so I am all sorts of colours at the minute um, I'm really sunburned over here really really sunburned and sore as well like my hand is a different colour if yeah when I had a short sleeve top on that's yeah so, hmm, that's me. So, I received my box today. Let's open it up. It feels not as heavy, not as heavy as the, the jersey one. So, I'm reckoning it's a, a woven or really thin knit. Let's see. I got um, an email to this just now to say that oh your so Haley Jane box is on the way but I was like it's in my hand I've got it I think I came at like eight o'clock this morning so brilliant even though my trip was cut short and I had to come back early um at least this is like a nice little present you know I would have been still been away at this point but hey ho So yeah, this is the June box. Let's open it up together. I do love this. <laughs> I think I've only sewn one of the fabrics, but it's just getting the fabrics. So it's the yellow tissue paper as always. Such a, such a happy, colour is yellow. I do like yellow. Ooh. What have we here? So issue 31. Escape to the country. Oh wow. Oh. 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 <laughs> There's lots of cool things in here. Right okay. So we'll get into it. Let's take everything out first of all. So what's this? Needle minder. So, sorry, I'm just like holding it up, but then I'm just reading the back of it. So, thank you. Each needle minder is a handmade and one of a kind. There isn't one that, that is the same as the other. These are made with resin, upcycled, single-use plastic bags. 
that would otherwise end up in landfills and dried flowers. Single-use plastic bags were used in the making of this unique needle minder. Sorry, I'm reading it weird because it's got a little tag and I didn't want to open that tag. Um, raise awareness about the growing global crisis plastic crisis and how we as humans should be mindful of the waste that we produce but just because it's upcycled doesn't mean it can't be pretty what's a needle minder let me take it out it's so prettily tied up and everything and i'm just there taking it out just I'm peeling it off the back oh. oh hang on there's a bit of metal in here so I am assuming I am assuming this is it a magnet typically I don't have any pins nearby oh so is this something that you kind of put over your pins and pick them up? Let's see. So, got some pins in my hand. Oh, kind of. Yeah, it is. It is, that's pretty cool. It's quite small. But it <laughs> The magnet's quite small to be fair and if you move it it's a tiny little dot of a magnet um it probably have been better if it had a few of these magnet circles around i think it's so that when when you when you're sewing and you can just go like that and pick up the needles but look if you can see they're kind of like hanging off um i like the theory of this that's it sounds pretty cool but yeah i'm not sure i mean i have this now this was, do you know, I don't know what this was, I think this whiteboard or something, um, you know when you can attach stuff to a whiteboard and it's got like a magnet and the, mag the whiteboard's a magnet, so I think it was one of them and I just thought to myself, oh that'd be good for picking my pins up but it's really strong for compare okay so if i've got a few pins on my hand and this is mine, this is the one that i normally use, if you kind of just can you see how strong it is like I've literally not even had to go near my hand and it's just picked them up and there's there is no way they are coming off whereas though with this one same needles let's put this it's not, I have to get really I have to get really close to my hand they're pretty secure and because they're stuck on there but yeah so so that's that this one I could have closer to the the, uh, the sewing machine and when I'm sewing it could be one of them that I've just kind of put onto the magnet whereas I quite like this one close by. I'll literally chuck it in the direction and it'll just pick it up like that. Whereas I don't think it'll do it with this one. No. Oh, I've got to find that needle now. <laughs> I've got to find that pin now. Anyhow, so let's get on with the rest of the box so I have got some white Gutterman thread so that's giving me um, indication of what I have then I've got some elastic could always do with elastic elastic always comes in handy doesn't it and then the sweet treat love these lollies i do i do really like lollies so whenever um some of the restaurants that me and my friends go to uh, uh, more casual ones they they used to give out like these lollies and always everyone would always want well, everyone would always fight over the um this one's orange isn't it always fight over the strawberry and the uh, the blackberry and the orange one Poor, poor lemon was always left out, but I love lemon, so. And then the, the fat pot, it's been arranged really nicely this time. Like, it was all, um, I'm not saying that it's not normally, but it's it's been like, look, you can see all the fat quarters and then the, the fabric that I've got as well. I'll get into it all. 
So, ooh, fat quarters, nice. So, go through them. You get four. So we've got a nice uh, bicycle print there. Cute, kind of cute. <laughs> cowboy boot, or is it? Yeah, cowboy. No, uh, welly Wellington boots print. Um, that's that one. And then umbrellas with rain. Oh, do love a floral. That's probably my favourite one. That's pretty. So that's the fat quarters still haven't done anything with the fat quarters that i've been getting from every single box but i've got plans now i think i'm going to make a machine cover um from a couple of them i've got some ideas now so they will be used i'm kind of not not as stressed about not using them now and then this is the fabric so it's a double gauze how pretty is that love that really like it now so you get is it three meters or two and a half meters pretty sure you get three meters but that's really pretty is that i like that i really like that a lot i think it's upside down yeah that's better i think yeah how pretty is that now I have not worked with double gauze. Um, I think it's double gauze. We'll read the newsletter to get them. We'll find out. Um, but it's lovely, um, perfect for summer. Really nice, and I like the print as well. Really like the print. It's quite simple, but a little bit of something. Not too simple. It's just, it's lovely as this. I really really like this. Double gauze is so. I'm saying double gauze, I think it is double gauze. Um, it smells very new. I've got a thing about smelling everything. <laughs> when I get a new book or I get like um, a catalogue, I love to smell, I like the ink, um, especially with a new book. Is anyone else like that? And also when it's, um, uh, when it's rained after a thunderstorm, love that smell as well petrol and it's getting a bit weird now but <laughs> petrol um quite like that smell as well yeah <laughs> i don't not that I'd just sit in petrol stations smelling it or anything that'd be very very inappropriate and weird um no it's just one of those um smells that are nice so yeah it smells smell very new which it obviously is um now i have never sewn double gauze um I've bought double gauze but it's kind of put me off because a lot of people don't like double gauze um, I've heard lots of people say that it's challenging etc etc um, so yeah I'm kind of a bit nervous but I have to give it a go so I have got I bought beautiful double gauze um, with gold um, spots on from First for Fabrics a while ago and I was going to make it into a mystosis dress um, but just been putting it off really been putting it off so now I've got some more in my stash going to have to use this up so let's have a look at the newsletter as well Ailey there um, talking about her inspiration for the box so I subscribe to the classic box um, so she's talking about how um, the one positive coming out of last year has been about uh, appreciating the great outdoors. The classic uh, and mini boxes this month include a stunning double gauze with a subtle vine and blue leaf print. Double gauze is a magic fabric that feels so cool to wear in summer months. Um, and then she'll have some inspiration as well. I am also 
excited to introduce you Sarah from New Indie Business Resin and be thankful for who uses shredded recycled single use plastics to create beautiful products out of resin. To help clean up the countryside, Sarah has created one of a kind magnetic needle minders for our June boxes. Each one is totally unique and contains colourful shredded plastics, iridescent flakes and beautiful dry flowers. So it is, I love, I'm, I love the concept of this. It's it's such a nice concept. Um, I really, really, really like it. You know, that I, I bungled together my my own one. But how pretty is this one? It's it's lovely with a dry flower inside, and it's a, a nice big shape as well. But I've got to be honest, and the magnet is too small, I think, and not strong enough. So that's that's my I'll still use it still use it yeah it's just not strong enough for me personally so but I love that. it's lovely um so there's actually an interview from um, the maker sarah so why she does what she does um and what a typical day looks like for her etc um make of the month this was from um, April's luxury box. So that's really pretty. Really pretty is that. It was bordering glaze that this one made. Um, three boxes, three makes. So Esther um, had made a skirt out of, out of her fabric. And then Gemma with the double gauze, so from this made the Nina Lee Portobello trousers. They look like they'd be so comfy, really comfy, nice. So she's got a little blog about, um, a little written a little piece about that. And then the mini boxes ones are so inspiring to me. Like this um, lady Laura has used the the mini the. Um, yeah, she subscribes to the mini box. So she got a little bit of the the fabric, and how clever is this? So she's made like some shorts with the cuffs, um, of like the the ends, and then with the top as well. So I love that. I'm gonna read all this later, and then the lovely Tamlin as well about fat quarter projects. So I'll just have a quick scan through what she's making reversible tote bag so so it takes you through step by step what you need to do love like her photos of of her you know actually showing how to make it love that it's really nice and then a little bit more about Haley's little links so the um, what people have been making with the oh what the subscribers have been making so I still haven't made anything from my May um, one that was the the knit one wasn't it so this one but I'm thinking a kilo wrap dress and that's what this lady's made um, Ellie think that's what she's made looks like a kilo wrap dress to me as beautiful as that that's what I'm gonna make and then pattern picks from the fold line as well so I thought I'd like teeth marks on there then <laughs> um, but yes yeah, so I'm really happy really 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 happy with this fabric double gauze um, never used it but definitely 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 want to use it and I love the print on it absolutely love the print such a nice print I know it's the wrong way around but you you know and it's opaque as well isn't it pretty sure it's opaque I can't see anything through it so that's good because they don't need to be lined either so I don't know what to make with this. Um, what I've been sewing at the minute, uh, just before I went away, I sewed um, a Maestosis dress. Now I know everyone's been talking about that pattern. That pattern's so famous. Uh, bought it ages ago, not made anything with it. And I thought, oh, I need an air airport outfit. Um, so I thought, I know, I'll make that 
so I was making that like the day before I was playing out as well. I don't know why I thought that was a good idea. Um, and it is now my favourite pattern. Oh, literally my favourite pattern. It is amazing. The fit is so good and it was so easy. I mean, uh, as I said before, I'm a really slow sewer, but I sewed it up really quickly. Even though I was kind of stressed about making it because I knew that... Um, you know, I didn't have long to make it. It was so easy to make. So now, that's like my new favourite dress. So now everything is like, oh, I can make my my stosis out of this. I can make my stosis out of that as well. <laughs> so, yeah, I don't know. What do you think? What suggestions? I mean, this would be really nice as a shirt dress, I think. Uh, oh, what do you think? Oh, do you know? I think it'd be so pretty as um what's that mccall's pattern i'll put i'll put a link up of of it a photo of the mccall's pattern that i'm thinking of um and that in this i'm just thinking would be so nice i think i think i'm gonna go for that you know um because i think it needs quite a lot of fabric as well i'm pretty stingy when it comes to buying fabric I normally just buy like two meters and then really struggle to get get the proper full outfit out of it so at least with this I've got plenty of fabric as well um, and how nice would that be for summer there's two actually that I've seen the McCall's one that I've had my eye on for ages and I, I need to buy the pattern because I asked um oh the Ford line was so helpful with this as well I think I don't know if I mentioned this in another video um but the Ford line was so helpful because I, I couldn't work out which size I needed so I sent them a, a message and they came back such a thorough message explaining um which size I would fit into with my with my body measurements um so yeah they didn't just say oh yeah this one did that explain to me the reason why they said that 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 i should pick because it doesn't come in in just one pack it's you know two sizes which i find a bit annoying like i really like that's why i always stick to indie patterns because i like the fact that you just one pack normally i think um and you just have all the range there but anyway um so that one oh i've seen another pattern that's kind of similar but i think it's got like a collar so i'm not sure i'm swaying towards the mccall one but um i am open to the other one as well i'll put i'll put pictures of both of them but definitely the mccall's would be so pretty i'm just like imagining myself wearing it in the summer yeah see now that this is a problem with me and because it's looking at the fabric it's so pretty as well because it's got the white and it's got like um, the the stem uh, the the vines are like a black and it's got the dark blue light blue and also a little speck of yellow as well um so you could just you know footwear as well and accessories you could have like yellow blue i've got some lovely blue sandals um that would look lovely with this oh i'm so excited to sew this up now i absolutely love this fabric oh the last two fabrics i have absolutely loved love 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 oh i'm so happy i subscribed um to the so Haley jane box i really do because i would never have thought of getting this fabric or picking this fabric for myself but this is the thing it makes me more creative i think because if it was up to me i just pick floral 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 all the time <laughs> i'm so boring when it comes to most of the time i mean i try and put myself um out there but most of the time boring i'll just pick the same things again and again whereas with this like i'd never have thought of this but now now that i've got it and i'm thinking right what can i make i've just got all these ideas running through my head like oh i can make this and this and actually visualizing it in my head um and all i want to do now is just put it in the wash dry it and 
cut it out and start making it <laughs> but yeah I have to um I'll have to get on because um uh, and I'm kind of blah, 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 all over but the um the McCall's pattern that I was just talking about um yeah the fold line was so helpful um but I didn't purchase it because the size they didn't have it in stock so what I'll have to do is I'll have to go on um because I wanted to buy it from them because and I know other places then had it for sale as well but they helped me and you know I've, I've <laughs> I don't know if it's just weird or it's just me or whatever um but I thought no they're, they're the ones that helped me to you know um find what my size was so I want to kind of buy it from them um so I just kind of waited till it's in stock so I'll see if it's on in stock if not I might give them a message and if it's not going to be coming in stock then I just can't wait I'll have to I'll have to just buy it from somewhere else um, I'm sure there's lots of other patterns that I'll buy from them in the future but yeah I love this I love it love it love it oh absolutely so happy with this and the fat quarters um not my stuff not really my style but like I can see my you know because I've been getting these fat quarters I've been researching what else I could use it for um and bias binding you know things like that there's loads of things that I could make out of it so um yeah definitely definitely I'm happy with them as well they're such they're so nice as well they, they feel like nice bits of fabric as well so but yeah so overall big thumbs up from me really happy with this and if you haven't subscribed i would definitely recommend that you subscribe because even if there's one thing in the box that you think to yourself mm, i'm not really keen on that or you know um i'm not going to use that there's all you can use it for something else like for example this I'm still going to use it. It might not be as strong as mine, but I can. I'll have two now. One that's quite strong, and I can use it to pick up all the needles. And this one now, I might stick it on my sewing machine because this one, um, and I never stuck it on my sewing machine because I'd need it when I was like picking up from the floor needles. But now I'm happy that I've got this because this one can just live on my sewing machine, and I'll. Um, I'll get like a glue spot I've got some in my in my craft cupboard so I'll stick it and then it's just constantly there then so I, even this I love this as well because I've got two and yeah so overall really happy if you haven't subscribed I would definitely recommend it it's just a little treat to yourself every month and yeah it makes me happy anyway so um I just want to say thank you to Haley for producing these boxes and giving me a little bit of happiness every month um present from me for me <laughs> to me <laughs> and I think it's very important that you should be able to treat yourself so yeah do what makes you happy and sorry if you've been hearing lots of um, screaming and things in the background. I live pretty close to a school, so um, I don't normally have the opportunity to be filming in the middle of the day. I'd probably I'd be at work normally, but um, if it's bank holiday, etc., the kids won't be in. But as I'm at home, <laughs> that's why you were able to hear that. So apologies if it has been distracting for anyone. Um, but yeah so now i'm going to get down to editing so hopefully i can get this video out today yeah so really happy and i'll stop waffling now so catch you in the next one bye